Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today our expert will be talking about what is Azure Databricks. So let's get started. Azure Databricks is a collaboration between two companies. First company is Microsoft, second company is Databricks. Let us start by discussing about Databricks company. Databricks is a company is a company created by the original creators of Apache Spark solution. The story dates back to the year 2000. I need to tell you a little bit of history so that you can relate what what we are trying to discuss here. Story goes back to the year 2000 when Google was researching about indexing the entire world wide web. Google had taken a mission. What is the mission of Google? The mission of Google is democratize the knowledge of the world search engine of Google. Right? Everything anything that is available on the web. We will make it available to anyone in the world. Knowledge that is sitting in the internet should be available to everyone and how it happens through a search engine. Without that we cannot search the web. Right? How will we access the file that we need? We need a search engine for that. Google has a search engine, best search engine in the world. Right? It knows more than we know ourselves. It knows us more than we know ourselves. So Google took a mission that we will democratize the knowledge of the world. So they planned to index the entire WWW. They said we have to create an index of entire World Wide Web. So the Google engineers said okay why not we will do that but they soon realized very important problem very very what is the problem they realized world wide web has has all type of data it has files videos audio it has pdf it has uh, document files it has literally anything everything that is there in the world world wide web so to index all of it we need some distributed file system and because the entire World Wide Web is distributed across the globe. So we need some distributed file system. Index can only be created in a file system, right? File and folder structures, hierarchy, root directory, subdirectory, 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 folder, file. Hierarchical index can only be created. If you have a file system, it's not possible on a database. It's not possible on uh, some other kind of a structure, storage structure. It's only possible on file system. So Google created something called as a GFS Google file system, which is a distributed file system for storing all type of data on commodity cheap hardware. Google identified. OK, storage is fine. How do we compute on this data? How do we run processes on this data? How do we process this data? So they created a compute paradigm a compute strategy for processing distributed data which is called as map reduce right mappers reducers so they created map reduce which is a distributed paradigm for processing the file system data whatever we store in the file system the methodology for processing it is map reduce strategies all of this was taken by the big data community and big data community created a project called as Hadoop Apache Hadoop Apache Hadoop which has now become almost obsolete but it has existing projects on it Hadoop gave us a storage layer which is HDFS which is based on GFS only Google file system HDFS Hadoop distributed file system which is a mechanism to store big data in a distributed format on multiple servers data nodes on a commodity hardware cheap hardware because it is on cheap hardware our data can become fail we may lose the access to data data may become corrupt it may may not be under it may become unrecoverable that's why we keep the default replication as three every file has three copies in hdfs cluster so you have all that hdfs clusters and map reduce the hadoop clusters that you do but hadoop processes the data on the disk which means all your processes and the intermediate writing of the outputs 
that gets generated as a part of the script they are done on the hard disk drive or solid state drive the drive is not a semiconductor system it's not a processor cpu is semiconductor solution cpu is a semiconductor device right it is a electronic device cpu is an electronic device so it is very fast electrons almost travel at the speed of light but cpu is very fast because it is a semiconductor device on the other hand disk is slow of the order of 10000 magnitudes disk is slow or in the order of 10000 magnitudes as compared to your cpu so disk is very slow 10000 times slower than cpu so some engineers like mate zehria eli god say and other like tathagat das these engineers they understood very clearly that hadoop can never be used for high end machine learning if we have to do machine learning it cannot be done on this hadoop kind of a structure because machine learning is iterative in nature we run different 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 algorithms on the same training set one time we run logistic regression another time we run two class classification second time we run a uh, 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 vowel rapid method and we use the gradient boosting iterative epochs right iterations again and again again and again we do the things in a machine learning training which will be extremely problematic on a hadoop cluster should not be done it will be very slow model training will take years to be realized another problem that they identified in the hadoop ecosystem of projects was that for doing anything there was a separate project for doing sql like queries on the tables you had apache hive impala for machine learning apache impala for machine learning scoop for data ingestion plume for real time end to end message delivery and data delivery apache uzi for orchestration directed acyclic graphs pipelines so what is this so you are saying that in order to develop different solutions i have to learn different different projects so they said no this is not going to work for us right so matte zehria and these people they soon realized we have to create one solution that first of all allows us to do machine learning very very fastly and has the capability to do everything within a single product structured processing which we generally do with hive it should be able to do that machine learning it should be able to do that real time it should be able to do that batch it should be able to do that sql it should be able to do that it should be able to do everything with very high performance very very high performance single product we will develop so they developed a product called as apache spark spark is a in memory processing system distributed processing paradigm it's basically not a software it is a paradigm of processing spark it processes the data in random access memory rather than on disk and now random access memory is a semiconductor memory dram sram ddr ram ddr3 ram these random access memories are semiconductor memory since they are semiconductor memory they are as fast as cpu so since they are as fast as cpu we will be able to do such high end data science machine learning artificial intelligence big data processing solutions very very fastly using apache spark obviously a spark cluster will be very very costly because it has very high end ram large amount of ram memory is in the range of terabytes it is a lot of ram but it is very fast right a spark it's like a spark so mate zehria ali god say these people donated the spark project again to apache foundation so it became apache spark but they soon realized that we should open our own company to commercialize spark because spark is free because it is open source but they realized that we gonna sell apache spark with our own distribution we will optimize it we will augment it we will do some high end engineering for it we will develop it our develop it independently of the apache open source foundation 
we will commercialize it we will earn money through it and we will give our customers very very dedicated product support full support life cycle on the product for consuming apaches databricks is a leader on the contributions to apache spark so they founded this company called as databricks met his area ali god say they founded this company called as databricks databricks is a data and an ai company which has created a lot of products like databricks itself which is a distribution of spark delta lake is created by them some other solutions are also created by them so databricks is the organization is a company created by the original founders and the original creators of spark solution databricks sells the commercial distribution of spark which is very very optimized which is high end databricks is a on premises solution original databricks is an on premises solution which means you purchase it from databricks company and you install it in your on premises clusters every cloud vendor be it aws be it gcp be it azure okay azure they have partnered with databricks company to bring the databricks product to be deployed to cloud this is azure databricks the cloud version of databricks which is the commercial distribution of apache spark this is the fundamental point that you must understand if you are a beginner if this is clear to us then we can discuss what it gives us what are the features of it what does it have at azure databricks so azure databricks is a cloud version of databricks solution it gives us optimized dbr engine databricks runtime engine this databricks runtime engine gives us something called as a dbr databricks runtime which is a combination of spark and scala versions and some runtime engine around databricks it has optimized databricks io if you see this optimized databricks io which means microsoft created one io solution which is input output solution in azure databricks for reading and writing to the cloud based services out of the box data lake read and write to data lake read and write to cosmos db read and write to synapse analytics read and write from azure data factory pipelines so they created a databricks io which is missing in original product it is only found here certain databricks runtime engines by default come with delta lake engine support it provides us the optimized apache spark for cloud environments and it gives us very important point serverless model of cluster deployment you as a data engineer always want that usage should match demand if i have a need to eat three pizza i should get only three pizza i should not order more than three pizza serverless is the real catch here in the statements of microsoft engineers i am telling you the statement of microsoft engineers themselves azure databricks abstracts away the complexity of creating a cluster for you. you don't have to become a devops engineer and create a cluster you simply fill a simple form and we will give you lot of different flexible ways of creating a cluster that to thousands of gbs of ram cluster at the pinch of a click of a button and that to a serverless model high concurrency serverless cluster which means what you use matches your demand if your demand is x we will meet your x demand if your demand is y we will meet your demand y adaptive elasticity is available in this product the product has two capabilities what are the two capabilities of the product the two capabilities of the product are that it is for data engineering as well as for data scientist we as a data engineer will create pipelines batch pipelines real time pipelines lambda pipelines so guys if you liked our video then do give us a thumbs up but if you really want to learn more about the particular topic we discussed then we have something really special for you 
we have our free class on Microsoft Azure Data Engineer certification that is DP203 along with some question and answers where we'll be discussing about why is everyone working on data, importance of some Azure services you should learn, and many more things. So for that, all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash Azure DE02. And after that, you'll be seeing a screen like this. Just click on book your free seat now. Select your event date whenever you're available. Reserve your spot by adding your name, your email address, and your phone number. And you'll be getting all the updates via mail. You'll be seeing this kind of window on extreme right. So you can save this link, add to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep hustling and take care.